The Enrich Red artists are looking forward to welcoming people back to their first open studio um, since the pandemic began. This year will be our 29th open studio. And uh, last year we were virtual and online. Um, the, the open studio events will be taking place on the 23rd, 24th, 30th, and 31st of October during the day from uh, 11 to 5. So people are welcome to visit, wander through. A number of artist studios will be open. You'll be able to go in, visit with them. Um, we'll be following all COVID protocols um, and asking people to wear masks and bring their COVID vaccination identification ID with them, or proof of vaccination. It's been a long year, I think in a very alienating year, for a very isolating year for a lot of artists here. During the initial lockdown, starting in uh, March of 2020, um, a number of artists were unable to access their studios for those first several months. So people needed to convert their home spaces into their new art spaces, you know, while paying for spaces that they couldn't use. Artists really thrive on being able to share their work with others and collaborate. And I think that the move to online activities has been really wonderful and invigorating and has created a lot of new connections. But in the end, you really miss that one-on-one -on -one experience, whether it be talk speaking with other artists about your work, seeking feedback on your projects, um, or just talking to, to people who are interested in art. So a number of artists needed to learn to work smaller um, in order to fit into their home spaces or to work with chemicals that are a bit more friendly uh, for use at home, you know, switching to acrylics instead of oils. A number of artists had been work were working hard for show towards shows, which were cancelled or postponed. But I think one-on-one -on -one connections are really vital when it comes to art making. Mm -hmm. Many of us work alone for long periods of time, but you, you still need that, you know, you still need that feeling of meeting with other people in collaboration.